Ronan, Senator Danita, go ahead. Ramaygat, alas kahirli yogus <laughs> karamaygat IRS of Ailin nogus kusla an Daniela Joe Guillaume Cougar just lads as in post nuaga niriga gyal lad on. Last Kaharlak, I, I want to begin by uh, welcoming the Minister and, uh, like other colleagues, congratulating him uh, on his uh, new appointment uh, as Minister. Um, and I also want to take the opportunity to commend uh, Senator uh, Callagher uh, in terms of uh, the bill being led uh, or being brought again uh, at committee stage uh, before us uh, this evening. Um, Collette, uh, as everyone will know, is a uh, strong champion and advocate uh, for the marginalised um, and people who have been uh, disenfranchised and forced, uh, in many instances, onto the fringes uh, of our society. So I said last week during uh, Mary Devane's bill that um, her legislation, and indeed legislation like this, uh, shows and proves what an active, uh, experienced, uh, committed, and passionate uh, Shannon, uh, with people such as the calibre uh, of Collette Callagher in it, can do. Um, because while this legislation appears to have uh, the necessary support that it will need uh, going forward, uh, I also uh, find this chamber to be a great platform for initiating and adding to and contributing to the necessary debates and discussions that have to happen uh, out there uh, within the public uh, arena. And as other people have uh, touched on, and I may come back to it later in my own contribution um, today, or indeed the last 24 hours, proves why uh, when uh, prejudice uh, and nastiness and racism uh, raise their heads uh, within uh, the public fora, uh, we have to stand up, face it down, challenge it, and ultimately uh, stamp it uh, out. And there's a quote that used to be on the side of St. Patrick's uh, School on the Andrew Rowan in Belfast. I think it might be a Yates quote, can't mind. And it says, uh, education is not the filling of a beaker, but the lighting of a flame. And that's what uh, a bill like this uh, has the capacity uh, to do. Because while we do rightly uh, recognise and appreciate uh, the significance uh, of the government's recognition of traveller uh, ethnicity, very often in this House, uh, Minister, uh, in, in, in all of your different guises, you'll hear us talking about, well, that's all well and good, but we need to attach a resource to it. So what this bill seeks to do is to affirm that, uh, uh, that expression by government in a practical way. To say, OK, we've had the statement from the Taoiseach, it was good, it was positive, it was welcome, but what are we going to do about it? How are we going to realise that vision? How are we going to realise that expression in a practical, tangible term within uh, Irish society? And a, a bit different from, from uh, Senator Dolan's uh, experience, uh, I, I recall uh, as, as, as a young boy uh, in Belfast, uh, in the immediate vicinity of the significant parts of my life uh, at home uh, in East Bridge Street, there was a traveller site. Um, there was one on the Glen Road close by to where I went to school on Bohershoy. Um, there was one uh, at the Mona Bypass close to where my grandmother uh, lived in Bala Murphy. And none of those sites are there anymore. Um, and I suppose while we have gone some way at that, maybe that political level, maybe at a more community grassroots level, uh, if we haven't fallen behind slightly, we certainly have some way uh, to go um, to uh, recognise. Uh, and, and I'm conscious too that you know, I, I don't in any way want to sound kind of patronising or, or anything about this, but we have. We, we do have a political responsibility in here to ensure that when there is uh, a community for all of the eloquent reasons, much more eloquent than I could ever express, Senator McLaughlin said, for all of the reasons uh, that we know that the traveller community have not found themselves on the fringes of our society, but have been pushed to the fringes of our society through ignorance, through prejudice, prejudice and through uh, hatred. And worse again, as Pottery touched upon, has been in the past the institutional policy of uh, demonising uh, our travelling uh, people. So we have to go somewhere, and this bill is a significant uh, part uh, of that. And, and let's use this bill and, and hopefully the ultimate implementation uh, of it and the adoption of it, Minister, as a way to bring that positive representation and reflection of traveller culture and history uh, to our schools and, and to our school children and students. That's, that's very important. I think that's crucial um, that we know that because, to be honest, uh, even sitting listening to some of the things Patrick said um, was an education uh, for me in terms of uh, a greater understanding. 
But as well as doing that, I think we have to, and I have no doubt that this is central to uh, Collette's uh, intention in the legislation here. We can't just look about cultural practices or historical legacy or, or, or anything else. We have to look at and understand and embrace and cherish and support the live traveller community that exists within our society and what they continue to bring uh, to uh, our lives, whether that's in community, a community level, hopefully increasingly it can be at political uh, level, um, hopefully there will come a point where we we'll, uh, see a traveller uh, Shanador uh, in here, for example, and that's maybe another way uh, that a government could affirm uh, their uh, intention through a Taoiseach's uh, appoint, appointment uh, to the Shanador. That's only one example of how we could do that. But we need to uh, understand and support and develop and invest in the traveller people uh, as they are now and their needs and their requirements uh, here uh, in 2018. I touched on it very briefly last Cahirlac, and I'll finish on this, and I don't want to finish on to uh, a negative uh, point, but I think it's important uh, to say. Jim Gibney, who works with me in the office, would always, when I'm kind of blowing my top uh, minister and you know, flying off the handle, he'll always say to me, now, don't curse the dark, light a candle. Right? And, and, and this bill seeks to light a candle. But I will curse the dark in the instances, not when it's ignorance, but when it is hatred and when it is prejudice, because I think that is necessary. While Podrick outlined, and I'm sure other speakers did before I came in, outlined the more negative and shameful aspects uh, of our history, we also have a very proud history of facing down uh, that kind of extreme prejudice. Uh, and I think no matter where it is, uh, where it emanates from, and no matter where we are, we should continue um, to, to uh, challenge that. So I let Colette light the candle and I'll curse the dark. So, Karam, I get it. Thanks. Uh, Senator Byrne, do you want to come in, just make a 